Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook when using Corel. How do you set it above the line, not on it? Well, if you were going to do it, you'd want it in the middle between the two lines. So there's two trains of thought, at least two. I'm going to do three. The first one is just to do it manually. Go to text, text to path, put it on that path. And then you can adjust the height. Now see that one rotates it. This one adjusts the height off. So you could eyeball it and get it pretty close. The other way would be to take the blend tool and this is going to go crazy here for a second because I'm going to, I blend last time 20 times, but I'm just going to blend one time. That put a line right in the middle. Now we're going to go to object and break the blend apart and I'm actually going to move this line down and then I'm going to text a path. And another way to text a path is Hold down your right mouse button and you'll come up with this screen that says, put text a path here. And I actually did it. I should, I, that's why a lot of times I don't use that. I don't know why it's doing that, but it would just do it the old way. So let's just move it closer, go to text, text a path, and put it on that path. Now, it should snap right to the middle, which it is. Now select it all, go up to uh, object and break the text apart and then move it back up and it's in the center. The way I actually prefer it, just so I know it's perfect, and my text is uh, 0.75, it's three quarters of an inch. My parallel dimension tool is going to tell me that this is one inch between there. So we have an eighth of an inch on either side to work with. I'm going to take the outside circle. I'm going to go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour to the inside 0.125. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to contour to the outside 0.125. Now we need to select it all and go to object and break the four objects apart. And then I'm going to grab that smaller contour and I'm going to text the path it. And I'm going to put it right on that line. And if you see that red line, that means it's in the center of your circle. Now we'll get rid of the other black line. We'll select all this and we'll go to object and break the text apart. Get that black one hit delete. Now just move this over. And that is for a fact dead set in the middle, which this is, and this is probably pretty close, but you can see I'm a little bit high. Either one of these two, I, I really like this the best because um, this is kind of a getting the, to the ballpark to put it to the center. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.